to California and Pan and these, these bills because, as you can see, the whole argument for safety and efficacy are falling away. And all you need to do is to say, if you argue that they're safe and effective, here we have a federal admission, an admission by a federal employee, a senior scientist at the CDC, that they committed fraud in respect of MMR vaccine. Here we have a court case in federal court where we have corporate fraud in relation to MMR vaccine. How can you possibly increase the stringency of vaccine mandates at all in the face of admissions of federal and corporate fraud, which are currently under investigation? Let me tell you, Dr. Pan, if you do that knowingly, because you now have these documents in your possession, if you do that in the knowledge that this fraud has been committed and children are injured because of the laws that you have put in place, then you will be held personally liable for that injury. And it's my belief. <laughs> it's my sincere belief that that should be the threat that should be put in front of these people. And it really does need the lawyers to take this on very vigorously and make that case. Because my experience of politicians is that they are, by and large, cowards. They are, by and large, self-seeking <laughs> and cowardly. They're also speaking from a position of ignorance, just as Dr. Pan is speaking from a position of ignorance. But faced with the prospect of personal liability, it's my opinion, that they will not want to go down that route. And so one thing I would do is take the official complaint that has been written by Jim Moody, by Brian Hooker and myself, which is submitted to the Office of Research Integrity. It's on the web uh, and as a P downloadable PDF at autismmediachannel.com. There, sort of there are two complaints and one appendix to the complaint. It goes into exquisite detail about the fraud that was committed and get it in front of your representative. Because once they've got it, they can't deny they've got it. And that's where liability begins. And just in case there was any doubt about what happened, falsification, this is the formal definition of falsification in science, includes manipulating research processes or changing or omitting data or results such that the research is not accurately represented in the research record. Okay, that is the definition according to which the CDC scientists operate. This is from William Thompson's public statement. I regret that my co-authors and I omitted statistically significant information. There is an admission of falsification. It is not ambiguous. If we go further, we look at the issue of manipulating research processes. William Thompson continues, decisions were made regarding which findings to report after the data were collected. And I believe that the final study protocol was not followed. They've not only omitted, sorry, they didn't only make decisions on which data to report after the data were collected, it was after the data had been analyzed and given them a result that was unpalatable. So here we have them manipulating research processes. So there are at least two elements of the definition of fraud that confirm what they have done. 